Hello guys, how are you doing today? And I welcome you back to Soft Talk FX Academy with Mr. Walls. Uh, today is go I'm going to be, you know, taking us through a top to down analysis on gold. But, you know, I'm seeing something very interesting on gold and I want everybody out there to actually see it. So I'll be running you through a top to down analysis. And as you can see before me, I have, um, I have gold on a monthly time frame. And what are we seeing on the on a monthly time frame? Okay, but just before that, let me show you the seasonality of gold. Let me show you the uh, seasonality of gold. Let's look at uh, look at my cursor here. Look at my cursor here. There's something I quickly want to show you. Look at here. This is a uh, 2007. Yeah, and there's 2006. So. Look at this swing, this monthly swing on gold, this monthly swing. Let, let me mark it up in order for you to see it. Look at this monthly swing on gold, meaning gold has been on, you know, gold has been bullish since 2006. What am I, what, what am I trying to stress out there is simply uh, the, the bias on gold has always been a bullish one. It has always been a bullish one. That's the bias on gold. So we have a we have a slight uh, what's it called uh, a resting phase. We have we have a rest, resting phase here after we had this impulsive or uh, uh, you know uh, a push to the upside. We have a resting phase. Then what do we see again? Price continued the movement. And if you look at since when price continued the movement, that's this about two thousand and sixteen. So gold has always been you know, bullish all along. Gold has always been bullish all along. For those that understand uh, this market, gold has always been bullish. There is a reason for gold to always be bullish. I'm not, I'm not actually going to stress that now, but I just quickly want to show you what I'm seeing on gold at the moment. So gold has created, uh, you know, a double top, which is a reversal pattern. If you understand price action, this is a reversal pattern. But at the same time, gold created liquidity up there which the liquidity has not been taken gold created liquidity and we can see that after creating the liquidity price is retracing then now let me show you what i'm saying what i'm saying uh, if, if if you have been following me you know uh part of my entries and confirmation fee has been part of my entries and confirmation lately so look at this swing of gold let me show you something interesting look at this swing Price actually, you know, retraced into, <clears throat> into my levels. For those that follow me, you know, this is my hot zone. That's 62%, uh, 70.5 and 79%. Uh, See, price actually retraced into these levels before, before a resumption of the, you know, bullish move in 2016. Now we have we after having a, a push to the downside, gold is retracing again. And what are you expecting, guys? Let me show you something interesting again on gold. Let me show you what I'm looking at on gold. Okay. So this is where we have uh, you know, this is where we have a swing. And look at what I'm seeing here, guys. I'm expecting gold to push into this level. I'm expecting gold around there, 62, that's, that's, that's actually a discount zone. You know, when we are on a buy, we expect to buy at a discount zone. So I expect price to, you know, any price below 50%. So I expect gold to actually break this level, break this level, because if you look at this level very well, this is even an area of liquidity, because if you are, to, to those that trade, or to, to, to those that trade those retail concepts, they are seeing this area as a very strong support. And these are places the smart money would like to take out in the market, areas of liquidity. So they left liquidity up here and they are coming down. So what are you expecting? I'm expecting price to come into this level, into this level, because it's actually retracing. Price is still bullish. As, and as we can see, market structure, there is higher high, higher low, higher high. So price is actually coming to create another higher low. This is on a monthly time frame. But you can still, you know, the move from here to this place is still going to be a very big one when you go to a, a lower time frame. So you can still consider selling into this spot 
before looking for buying opportunity. Not that you just get to this uh, spot and you start buying automatically. We like to look for confirmations. So, but at the moment, at the moment, what I'm seeing, the overall analysis on gold is still a buy. The overall analysis on gold is still a buy. So I'm looking at these levels. Let me remove my Fibonacci tool. Let me remove this Fibonacci tool. Okay, and mark up this level and show you things. Okay, I'm looking at this level. And if you look at this level, this is even a, a very good uh, uh, demand area in the market. We have, this is an area where demand is equal to supply. Before we before well, we have this expansion to the upside, so and if you if you understand the demand and supply, that that's our our rally base. Our our this is our rally. Then we had a base. Then uh, our rally base drop. Then we expect price to continue. This is a rally hub base. Then drop. So this is the drop that is happening. Price is actually coming back into the demand zone where this push actually started. Price is coming back to retest it, then boom, to the upside. And we already have liquidity that price will be attacking above already. We have double top liquidity, which money is, that money, money is up there, man. And price will be attacking it. We are bullish, so price will be attacking it. Just imagine, let me, let me look at the number of pips this would have given us if if we are able to catch a good buy from here, even to this point. What are we looking at? This is about oh oh guys six thousand nine hundred and thirty four pips. That's about six thousand nine hundred and thirty four pips. But that's on the monthly time frame. Now let me go to weekly time frame because I told you this this is a top to down analysis. So let me just break it down for you to see it. This is the weekly time frame. You can clearly see double top, equal highs. That's a, an area of liquidity. So I'm expecting price to, you know, to still fall down into my FIB levels. And even the, for, for confluence, if you look to the left, we have an institutional candle here. We have an institutional candle, which is a confluence with my Fibonacci levels. That's why I like to use Fibonacci. I use it to build up confluence. And you see, we have a confluence there. Then let's go to a daily time frame. Let's see what the daily time frame is looking like on a daily time frame. Okay. So, like I said, this is actually a, a, an area of support to the retail concept traders that they are looking at buying from. They are looking at buying from that area. But I can tell you, I've already shown you the reason why price is actually going to break this area to go deeper to go deeper and activate from that our level then shoot, shoot for the liquidity hop here so let's go to uh okay i'm seeing something on four hours time frame guys this is what i'm expecting on four hours time frame we have a uh, imbalance we have a large area of imbalance here so i'm expecting go to actually push up into this imbalance and you can see gold is even creating a uh, a kind of uh, liquidity trend line liquidity around there gold is creating trend line liquidity so what am i expecting on gold this is a, let me show you the kind of play i'm expecting on gold okay i'm expecting gold to do something like gold can it can actually come down here come down here push into the imbalance then you see it drop massively from the imbalance and you know going down to the levels i showed you on the monthly so that's actually what i'm looking at on the on the on the top to down analysis that i've done on gold and you know i'm actually i'm looking forward to seeing price coming to that level so that i can take about six thousand pips that's if it gives me a, a bullish confirmation from there about 6,000 pips to the hub side. So if you have a contrary opinion, you can let us know. You can just come to our Telegram channel and send me a personal message there. And if you are coming across this channel for the first time, do give us a like button. Do, do click the like button. Follow us and you know share with your friends and family as well. Share with your friends and family this channel. And, you know, if you want to be part of our Telegram free analysis, check the description box. You see, you see the link right there.
Thank you for always believing in us. Once again, this is Soft Talk FX Academy with Mr. Walsh. See you some other time.